Alright, it's Professor Fox once again. And this is a request to sign for sign for Dill Dill123. And the end of this video is people are in love with this serial killer, I guess. Yeah. So let's check it out. Yay. There is a niche of people online going through this phase of not just being obsessed with things like true crime, but also having obsessions over people like Jeffrey Dahmer, Ted what? Bundy, and other monstrous people who should not be glorified not or surprised. romanticized in the slightest. Apparently on TikTok, it's a trend to raise your hand if you are unfazed over the Dahmer Netflix series or complain that it wasn't um, morbid enough. I'm sorry, there were is that new people affected by this man oh and my god because this show wasn't graphic enough for you is this what? some kind of weird flex but it what's terrify your two or evil dead rise if this show is not fucking violent for you so we continue this video, watch something like for cannibal holocaust worse as we discuss the unhealthy obsession a corner of the internet has with serial killers and how some go as far to say that they feel sorry for them and even what? others romanticizing i wanted to sit down and oh it's talk you the tough girl today that really concerns me but i also honestly just want to rant about it because my head feels like it's just going up off with how frustrated I am that this even exists. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a video discussing true crime content and whether or not it should be acceptable, essentially. And it's interesting. I, I like looking into those, a but lot of it's very disturbing types stuff. Of true crime content, and I left it up to the viewer to determine whether or not they think certain forms of true crime are okay. And that is because it is a very nuanced topic. A lot of people do have very polarizing opinions when it comes to what is and isn't okay when you discuss really is that making cheese on a chalupa show this video is not going to be talking about true crime podcasters youtubers tiktokers streamers whatever this video is going to be talking about a more niche section of true crime content today we are okay, going let's to get into about it about people who are not so much as obsessed with true crime but are obsessed with serial killers this is actually why that i've known about for quite a while i've known that there have been people out there like this. fake serial killers like michael myers maybe arthur clown or fucking michael my jason freddy those are kind of understand but real life serial killers what the fuck and it's been well before the internet there is an obsession that some people have sometimes it's things that people really need to work on within themselves like through therapy because there might be some unhealthy things going on that they need to sort out which i think is the case for a lot of people but ever since the new Jeffrey Dahmer show. I didn't watch it. How is a one check this fucking has video? Has been blowing up with a few clips that I find particularly concerning. I think the worst TikTok that I have seen so far is a clip of somebody who is wearing Jeffrey Dahmer earrings. She Why are they making even making merch for this Jeffrey sick Dahmer's fucker? Face on them when everyone is freaking out about how morbid the new Dahmer show is. And you're just bummed they didn't show the actual morbid parts. As this zooms in, you can see that this person is wearing earrings with Jeffrey Dahmer's face That's on them. fucked up. Not even the actor who played Jeffrey Dahmer. The actual Jeffrey Dahmer. It's I'm more very fucked uncomfortable. Up. And I think a lot of people are. Why well, do you have a pen in your fucking hat, that bro? Jeffrey Why? Dahmer was a real person. Jeffrey Dahmer had real victims with real families, some of which who are still alive, some of which who are upset that the show was even made, and some of which who may even see your TikTok where you are wearing Jeffrey Dahmer earrings and you think it's quirky. People like that with the Pooh Bear mood, but at least that's not making fun of a real serial killer. This person might need some kind of help. Either they are trying really, at least that's really a fictional movie. negative attention, or they genuinely think this, and they think that this is okay, and I honestly think that's worse, and I honestly think that might be the actual reason, because most people wouldn't just have a pair of Jeffrey Dahmer earrings if they didn't in some way think that it would be okay to just be glorifying it in some way. Serious question. 
Is there something I feel bad for I Jeffrey Dahmer. What the fuck? Now, throughout the whole thing, I was like, damn, like, this shit is crazy. Like, that's so sad. All, like, the murders and everything that, like, he did. Yeah. The way he did it. Like, I, I was like, damn, like, this shit is mad scary. Like, that's so sad. But I was, like, fine throughout the whole thing because, like, I, wa I watch a lot of true crime, whatever. When they killed Jeffrey... I was, I was like literally teary eyed. Like, what? I got Are you a fucking eyes. son of a I bitch? At my boyfriend, like, oh my god, like, please don't tell me they killed him. Don't tell me he died. I felt so. Are you de you're delusional bad. as fuck? I actually felt bad. Like it was like ridiculous. I'm thinking to myself like, you should not be feeling bad for this man. Like, but I dead ass didn't want him to die. Like I was kind of pissed. I'm speechless. I'm honestly speechless because I don't know what to say to that other than please go get help. Yes, yeah, there's definitely. You're seeing, you sound the illusion as all hell. If you high key feel bad for Jeffrey Dahmer after seeing and understanding everything that he had done, that there there definitely is a problem there. You should be feeling sorry for the victims. You should be feeling sorry for families yeah and sure you can have concern on you know what makes a person be like this and could there be anything we could do in the future to help prevent this from ever happening but after somebody doing that to people their humanity in my opinion is gone i just think that you should get help and really ask yourself why why do you Okay, she's the, uh, the she's an illusional drunk. They're putting stuff in the water. I swear to God, they are. But like, I totally appreciate this man is probably like the worst of the worst. No, he is the worst of the worst. He is literally like Lucifer himself. Why'd you block out the? This man is crazy. But for some reason, I feel really sorry for him. Like, okay, you're delusional as fuck too. And I know that is like such a bad, bad way to think or feel. No, no, I think that he's crazy, and I know he's crazy. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, you're fuck. crazy for feeling sorry for the motherfucker. I feel really sorry for you. I feel really sorry that you are that lonely. Now this TikTok goes on for quite a while, and she brings up other really harmful points, in my opinion. But I'm just going to leave it at this and say, loneliness does not make a person do something like this. The things that this man did was not just because he was lonely. This person was twisted. This person yes. ended the lives of many people. He was worse. I don't even know if I can say in any detail what he... He's worse than any serial killer in any fictional movie in this fucking universe. That shit's fake. All these horror movies are fake. This shit is real fucking life, people. It to people... Those are fictional movies. So this is because YouTube would probably age restrict this video faster than I could say I'm dead inside. That was not loneliness. That was sick and twisted shit. The way that people describe how they feel bad for him after watching this Netflix series makes me question if it's the Netflix series itself trying to humanize this very horrific person which i think is why a lot of people don't like reenactment types of films like this because even if it wasn't the director's intention by showing this entire story from Dahmer's perspective it allows people like this to end up glorifying him or at the very least feeling bad for him but the responsibility isn't entirely on netflix alone because this type of stuff has been going on before Netflix even existed, before I even existed. This has been going on for many, many years. Jeffrey Dahmer had fans when he was still alive. As fans. Serial killers, Fucking fans. Another person that this happened to, and to this day, I think he's he still does have too. to, even though he's also deceased, is Ted Bundy. And this also happens with other serial killers as well. People become obsessed and infatuated with them, and sometimes they end up feeling sympathy for them. But when it comes to reenactment films like this, people have to remember that these aren't just characters from a movie. Yeah. That this was all fictional. No, no, no. This was people, all legitimate. Jeff things like Art the Clown, Terrifier, Jason, Freddy, Chucky, Megan, Wednesday. These are fictional characters and aren't fucking real. This shit. 
is different. This shit is fucking real, people. Dahmer has ruined many, many lives. Not just the people whose lives he had taken away, but their families and people who knew them. People need to understand what's real and what's fake. And can go on TikTok and see people like this talking about how bad they feel for Jeffrey Dahmer. Meanwhile, they are still grieving and feeling sorrow for the person that he had taken away from them. I cannot even begin to fathom what it must feel like to have a loved one taken away from them tragically by a monstrous killer and then going on the TikTok or maybe even going out in public to the grocery store seeing somebody wearing earrings with the face of somebody who took my loved one's life away. I yeah, can't even she's sick as fuck for wearing that shit. That like. And yet there is a possibility now that that could happen to somebody, that it might have already happened to somebody. Again, I know a lot of this is about Jeffrey Dahmer. I've mentioned Jeffrey Dahmer a lot in this video, but I want to go and say again that there are people who have been obsessed with all sorts of different serial killers and people who have these feelings towards other serial killers as well. Interested for history's sake on what they have done and be educated and teach yourself, you know, there are dangerous people out there in the world that can be capable of things like this. But when it comes to idolization and when it comes to people who are treating these murderers and horrific, disgusting, I don't even want to call them people because of what they've done. Like, they deserve empathy and like, I, I just- They deserve their rotten fucking hell. It's too morbid for me. And I want to end this video with something short, sweet, and straight to the point. There is one more issue that I'm noticing a lot of people are bringing up, which is the fact that because of this Netflix series that has recently gained a lot of A costume for Jeffrey Dahmer. People are considering dressing up as Jeffrey Dahmer for Halloween. I'm just going to end this video saying, Who would want to pay $40 for a fucking Jeffrey Dahmer costume? Please, please don't do that. If you do that, you're kind of an asshole. And by kind exactly. of, I mean you absolutely are. This isn't just a character from a fictional story. This is a real person who brutalized many other people, ended the this lives of many other people, and ruined the lives of even more people, be it family members, friends, loved ones. This person is awful and glorifying him, dressing up like him for Halloween because it's spooky and trendy. Absolutely. You have tons of other options for Halloween. Dress as Art the Clown or fucking Jason or something. That's fake characters. If I actually managed to do that, I want to wish you all a very happy Halloween. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you do plan on going out, please stay safe and please do not dress up like Jeffrey Dahmer. Thank you. Um, Thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end of this video. Done, I know this okay. one was kind of all over the place, but I really just kind of wanted to rant a little bit and talk about, you know, this as a generalized topic and why it bothers me. This is separate to the uh, true crime situation that I've talked about a few weeks ago. I think these are two separate issues. I think a lot of people can enjoy true crime in a healthy way. Yeah. I just think there is a smaller audience of people who treat it like this. And uh, I don't think you should be treated like this. I don't think that people should find it okay to feel these types of things. And if you are feeling these types of things, maybe you should go and talk to somebody and seek some sort of help to please do why, because this isn't normal. Yeah. So that's all I wanted to say today. Again, thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video, and thank you to everybody who has been supporting me over on Patreon, especially Lewis, Miss Tanisha, Anthony, Tressa, Michelle, and Beamer W. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video. Yeah, people who idolize serial killers, not fake ones, I mean real ones, get fucking help. Another amazing video by, I think her name is Tamimi. Um, I've watched a couple videos on her um, off and on camera. Her, she's actually a very interesting um, commentary channel, so I sub to her, so yeah. Yeah, fuck Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm definitely not watching the Netflix series after, especially after watching this shit, but. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. See you on the next one. Peace out.